Are you ready to dive into a world where expertise meets compassion and knowledge save lives? Welcome to an exclusive glimpse into the groundbreaking ShareCM project where every moment is a step towards saving lives and spreading awareness. Today, we are honored to have one of the brilliant minds behind ShareCM. She is a scientist working with Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital as well as the Malawi Liverpool Welcome Program on the Share CM project and she will take us on a journey through innovation and determination. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. First of all, can you please tell us your name in your role at MLW? So my name is uh, Dr. Elda Stiwani. I'm a project doctor and a project coordinator for the Share CM project at MLW. Zikon Wambili. Mwina Dr. Zwani, mungati foto kuzeri, kuna nazoti kodi project imeatwe gamba ya Share CM, di project ya anji makamaka. Um, so Share CM, uh, njambe kuna ndi mawa wadula, um, which is um, it's, it's an abbreviation, okay? So it's single high dose ambisome to reduce excess mortality from cryptococcal meningitis. The podula wagen mati share CM. Okay. So on the project, imene yuko na zambili za cryptococcal meningitis. Um, cryptococcal meningitis, it's a type of meningitis. So meningitis as a whole uh, is a disease that affects the brain. Okay. It can be caused by a number of germs. It could be bacterial, it could be viral, it could also be fungal. And uh, cryptococcal meningitis is an example of a fungal meningitis. So it's caused by fungus. Okay. Um, cryptococcal meningitis is a serious disease um, and it's quite common, especially in sub Saharan Africa. Um, it, usually will affect people who have low immunity so there are many reasons why people can have a low immunity and uh, like here in sub-saharan africa the biggest reason is hiv aids so we see uh, we see this disease mostly in people who have hiv and aids however it can also occur because of other reasons people like people who have diabetes can have low immunity people who have cancer can have a low immunity there are some drugs that can cause low immunity so this disease can affect such people as well um, in terms of deaths it uh, studies have shown that it has caused in the past few years it, will, it has been causing about 112,000 deaths worldwide every year so it's quite significant but it's a disease that many people are not aware of people are aware that there's a disease called meningitis but they are not aware that there's this specific one called cryptococcal meningitis. It's common, but a lot of people do not know about it. Um, so just to take you back, there was a study uh, between 2018 to 20, I think 21, which was trying to see the best drugs we can give for cryptococcal meningitis. So they tried a number of drugs. And uh, the conclusion of the study was that a drug called Ambisome uh, was a very good drug to give for cryptococcal meningitis in that it reduced the risk of people dying from the disease significantly. And the other good thing about the drug is just is you just give it as one drip. Just one drip. Whereby in the past we had to give people drips for seven days or for 14 days. But this drug you just give it once and then in addition to that we give two types of tablets. We called fluconazole tablet and fucytosin tablets for 14 days. So the patient didn't have to stay in hospital for a long time and the patient will still get better using this drug. So following the success of, uh, of you know, this drug and, and, and showing that you know, it's a good drug, this project, the CRCM project, then came up to uh, help in, um, in, in um, increasing capacity uh, in, four in four countries in sub-Saharan Africa in how to use this drug. So that's Malawi, Zimbabwe, Uganda and Botswana. Okay. So, um, the project has a number of goals. The first one, as I've said, they want to improve capacity in the country uh, for healthcare workers in how to use this drug. So we train healthcare workers on how to uh, uh, diagnose cryptococcal meningitis and how to test for it and how to prescribe the drug, ambisome drug, and how to care for patients in hospital to make sure that um, our patients survive. 
So that is the first goal. The other goal is to in improve community awareness of the disease. As I've mentioned to you, many people do not know about cryptococcal meningitis. Um, so one of our goals is to improve awareness of the community at large about cryptococcal meningitis. What is it? What kind of disease is it? How can it be prevented? And also to spread the word that we now have good drugs for this disease and patients are being cured if they come to hospital on time and we treat them. So in your explanation, you mentioned something about a lot of Malawians not uh, being familiar with the mm. cryptococcal meningitis. Yes. What are the signs and symptoms of this disease? So cryptococcal meningitis uh, has a number of signs and symptoms. Um, mostly patients will have a headache and this headache it starts on very small just a minor headache right? and then it goes gets worse and worse over days a patient can come to you having had headache maybe for three weeks okay so that's one of the signs that this is a headache that you've tried so many different drugs and painkillers but the headache is not going away for over a week we can suspect that okay um patients will, vom will have vomiting and they'll have eye pain when they look into light they can also have uh, uh, neck pain, um, a fever. Um, some patients can actually have what we, what we call seizures, right? and they can lose consciousness when the disease is very serious. But just to point out that, as I mentioned, this is a disease that usually affects people who have a low immunity. So for whatever reason why a patient has low immunity, whether they have HIV or they are on some drugs that reduce immunity, but as I've mentioned, that in our country here in Malawi, as well as Sub-Saharan Africa, the biggest cause of low immunity is HIV. So in patients that we know have a low immunity, we suspect that they have the disease if they come with these symptoms. Um, yeah. But uh, as I've said, that if a patient comes to, uh, if anyone has a headache that is not going away for over a week, then they should present to the hospital and we should test them for um, meningitis. <laughs> Pali antuena mina mata upeze kazo nina kuti awabe za mwina ndi ntende mene ya menjaiti isi kapena mwina awawu za kuti kuti apita kawa yezi menjaiti isi kwa mwina makala ndi jitunzi tunzi jola wiga cha mene mwina mma yezira kujibatala ntende mene ya menjaiti isi ndu kuzua zoni na utipa mene wa mwina 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 uh, including cryptococcal meningitis, uh, we test by um, a procedure called a lumbar puncture. A lumbar puncture, we have a lot of people who are in the hospital. We have a lot of people who are in the Madza jana mina maduza kutu patient ujani. Tima atikapita nao kulabu kutaka unikidwe. Nkume tima pesa, tima tagu zindi kila kutu kutu patient ujani matenda wakapena ai. Na utesti mene yu denga madzipa sana antambile ama ama shita na yomanta. E, and antamba yu kula zambili mbile. Aga kutenga maza mene wa mufu nduga. Zime zisali zowa na ya. E, so kutenga madzipa sana ndi shintuwa si jowa opisha ya. It's a very, it's a safe procedure. And uh, we train healthcare workers how to do it safely as well. And uh, it can also be done painlessly. Okay, um, we can give medication to reduce the pain when we are taking uh, mazipansana. And my needle is going to be taken because I don't think the mazipansana. Some of us are going to be in the needle is going to be taken by the Yeah. So it's a very safe procedure that we can do. Indeed. Chabu nomu project imene hii ya share CM tuudzua kutu muninda atengambari kapena dina utuma participants amuchikinezi muna atengambari aminewa muda wabeza banji So tinda atengambari angapo oya mbili hati ndi madoku tala ndi manesi ame ndi magwila nao nchito limozi kupunzi isa madoku tala ndi manesa nzao za matendawa kumaso uweza kwa kitumeza banji Kumaso tuma nkwala ambi so mtima peleka banji. Kumaso patient amene ya tika kanayi nchipata tima msamala banji. Nde amene uhu ndo tima gula nao nchito limozi mshipata cha kwinzi. Kumaso welcome trust. Ena, atingambali ena, tindi antoda nari ma patient mbuyo. 
I mean, ni analo na waka fufufu, jani mani na jo ambition try. So na waka fufufu ambition try. Ama ma fufufu zami na fufufu zami ma kwa labu inome tinga pelega mki tuko kwa menjai this. Ndeshme di majida, jika kandi peshe ntuwa ki tuko kwa menjai this, ma abe impangadanga dani, anga dengi na wambali ma ambition try. So na wapeshe nta jada sama lidu abu ino ndugu jila. Anavu mina guta kari na wambali ya project ya CSM. Nde from time to time, ti ma abe impangada, ti gure na nchito limozi, kufali sautenga wajani wakitu koko meningitis. Ati ngambali hatu hashtadu, ti ndi group ina kyo chida community advisory group, community advisory board. Group imene hii, inaba ngidwa ndi project ina, so imene tuwa gula nao nchito hand in hand, yo chidwa imprint project. So hai imprint project, nda share CM project hii, nchito zato nzofa nana. Kuma hai imprint iwa, nda mene ya anapanga fundi kwa mbili community advisory board. So body muli uh, antosia na siana muli antota na dola po meningitis ali menemu muli asivo society ali menemu e, muli atolankani so ali menemu kuma suma community leaders so ali mugrupe mene so amene wanda meti magura na uchito limozi kuona kutiti nga falise banji utenga wako uh, crypto koko meningitis tango yamba kumene di body mene tango yamba late last year So, tika dagwila nao chito, so goro muno jitu for the next few years. Ndi, tunda mene tu utenga na kutenga na mbali, mprojecti mene. Mwina atisa na choke pano, muni ndi mau ena luonsa mene muna kakunda, muna foto kwa zoku zana jitu ndi projecti mene ya share CM, kwa manso ntenda ya crypto kwa kwa menjaitis. So, mwagwa mbili. Mene na foto kwa zika kwa mbili la ujodi ntenda ya crypto kwa kwa meningitis Ima kunda kwa mbili ugira antoku di shiteti zosia uja ntupi cha jepet Kwa mbili natika di imino suppressed nchi zungu And mene na foto kwa zika kwa mbili kwa kudera tulino la Afrika including Malawi Chufu kwa wajiku kwa mbili ndi matenda HIV Matenda miwa ama kunda ugira antoku di One matenda alina wa HIV Kuma saa kuziwa Nde shiteti zosia uja ntupi cha jepet Kwa mbili natika di imino suppressed nchi zungu Madenda ama tau gira soa ntua kuti HIV alinayo, alipa mea na viku masa kuma modani Mwe nilela Ndeshwa tsa kuma mwe nilela, shite tuzia wa shijashima tsika kwa mbili Nde Ndumafuna tingebo mwaya, baba wadu niti fotoko Zedu kwa atamene mina akusoza ni madenda wa ndi HIV Mwama kwa saa kuma mwagwa nila Anda kumva zizi njikilo zimenda fotoko za zecha kutika Uten tatuki mtu pweteka, kosu pweteka, kusanza Maso umamfa kupwede kama ya ngana light Isho nda zitamangila wa shipata wadidika eze Matenda amene wawa Shina Ndingo tengila busu mayo limbi kisa Ntu amene ali aguma mankwala ama ya la vi Amene andi HIV Kutazimu andi tumando ndome kumaya na fotokuzile wa shipata ala Kupewa kutasa kuzakai nao matenda amene wawa Ndito Dr. Ziwani, tutukuzo kwa mbili vokana film program Tsewala lilo Ziko mbili Ziko mbili Ziko mbili Dr. Eltas Ziwani, mozi mwaga tuli aza science ya mina kukwiti na nchito kukuchipata la chicha chikuru cha Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital mumzinda wa Blanta ya komanso akukwiti nao mo project mini ya share CM kubungwe la Malawi Liverpool Welcome Program MLW. Takani pompo kumetu kiti na di program ya atu tsewala lila. Ndeko nozafika nukukutimu kukumati kwa teka kwa mpili Kukutishi nganga 
Family, I want to talk very gazana. If face would want to go to Tijani, Kayari, do you guys come pass? 
Chamu ino, etika tere nso, ndeta fika pa mtiri zira pa program yatu ya Emerging Insights. Lero, magamba nkani okuza na litu ndi crypto koko meningitis. Kwa matisa na vide, antawi zonse, tima funika ditutu uone, kuna zori kwa difunso, ala tsigula lero, ndi funso lotani. Ndi funso lotani, 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 ndi funso crypto koko meningitis. Ndi bwere zanso, muduze zi zindi kilo zitatu za crypto koko meningitis. Ngati inuyo mungu zua ndi tuu ya nkololo ndola kufunso ni mene lichi medu kufunika kuti inuyo mujide ndi kuduza zina lanu, muduza ngati mule amuna kapena akazi, muduza posto address yanu, ya nkani fuso lanu ndi kudumiza ndi tuu ya nkolano kunamba la mene mugi wana paka ni mapanupo. Antu amena shita mpumi itziku lale lukupata matishet okongu la kumbiri a emerging insights ujokita kubungi la Malawi Liverpool Work and Program and uh, amene ndi tuu maina ao akuoni kapa television ya nuyo. Congratulations, congratulations matishet anu akalitu aku kufikani tziku lina lilo unse kuyambira sabata imene tiku yambai. Tiku maneso ine ndichi somo chihana. Mwagomanoze.